Yay, I'm live. Hey everybody, it's Jane from, ooh, let me fix this. I didn't add my second camera. It's Jane from Chalk Mercantile and Surface Anthology. And I didn't do what I was supposed to do so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna be making over some frames today. And you might remember them. I showed you guys these frames that I got um, at Goodwill when I went shopping with my son, Christopher. So let me get this. Oh my God. Uh, so many little things, right, that we have to think about. Okay, so let's put this up here. All right, and then, wait a minute. I'm, gonna, I'm going to, <laughs> why isn't this working? Oh, I know why. Let me get a little bit closer. All right. Hey, we're in business. <laughs> okay. So, as you can see, I have a frame here. I'm going to be using milk paint today. I'm going to get these as far as I can get them in a reasonable amount of time. Hey, Shannon. How are you today, triple hearts, right? It's almost Valentine's Day. It's like the month is flying, Shannon. Um, before I do that, I'm going to just quickly show you. Hey! Amanda. Yes, I'm on YouTube, Amanda. And Amanda's on YouTube. Shannon's on Facebook. I am. Oh, I've got to fix this little button. I am. Hmm. There we go. Um, I'm multi-streaming. It's like multitasking. <laughs> Shannon, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thanks for sharing. Um, Say hi when you show up and you find me live on Facebook or YouTube. Quickly, before we start our project, and I'm excited to start this project, you may have heard me talking about my new workshop, and thanks to everybody who's been signing up. I'm really, really excited to get it going. And Shannon, you know I've got to straighten this camera so things are square. This is my plaster page um, creative journal, I'm calling it. It's an art journal, creative journal. It could be a junk journal. And it, uh, in the workshop, we're going to be literally putting together this journal. And yep, these are plaster coated pages. And you're going to learn a whole bunch of painting techniques. So that link is in the comments. Check it out. It's only $17 until... Um, the 11th, the $17 is the early bird price, and then it goes up after that. So this is a good time to sign up. All right, I'm going to put that aside. Remember these. <laughs> these are a riot. Let's see if I could get the whole thing in the camera. So when my son and I were at Goodwill, there's three of them. These would have been hung, you know, next to each other. I'd say these are early 60s late 50s I don't even know but I got look at how much it was at, at the hardware store a dollar 47 each and they're wood these are wood frames and they have some kind of applied um carving here and I don't know what it is and I think I would have to break it apart, right? Or over my head. Hey, Cheryl, good to see you. So I, you know, they're very charming. And if I had a mid you know, a mid-century house and I was being true to it, I would um, leave these, but they're not really my style. Look, somebody put a cup of coffee here at some point, but the frames are really, really pretty. And I love, love this shape. So the first thing I did was I wiped them down and I use Clean Slate. It's a cleaner by Amy Howard and because it's easy. I don't have to rinse it off. You just wipe stuff down. I know, Cheryl's saying, I know you know, we know you see potential in those frames. That's right, right? Gotta see that potential, Cheryl. You're gonna make me laugh, honestly. It's true. I love that. I know you know we know. <laughs> yeah, these are going to be beautiful, right? And of course, well, I've got three of them, so I'll take a before picture. I didn't take one, but I'll take a 
be four pictures. I'm not going to be painting all three of them today. And we're not going to get through all the steps today. But the first thing I did is clean. And now I got it take out and look by the way I paid $2.99 for each of these at Goodwill um, which is more than what they were priced at originally look at how you guys know each other <laughs> I love that it's our little afternoon you know making creating group right so the first thing I want to do I got to yank off the wires back here so I'm just going to turn the little eye hooks and get these off and I'm saving these because they're perfectly fine. I could put them right back in. And if you ever find you strip the hole, like you're going to put your eye hook back in, it's just not working, get a little um, toothpick and put some glue in there. Let it dry and then put it back in. Cheryl's saying it's inflation. It, absolutely, right? <laughs> I love Goodwill. Cheryl, do you have Goodwills down in... Um, in Virginia you've got to have something like that and yeah and Cheryl saying and by yank you mean with tender loving care absolutely absolutely because you know what I realized Cheryl the other thing is well what if I want to paint something on the actual boards that are cut perfectly and they actually have some texture on them right maybe I'll create something on those boards and put them back into the frames yes right aren't Goodwill's great they are Anything like that. I love, I love, love those places. All right. I'm just using, these are like little wire cutter things. And I'm just, oh, I'm glad these are pulling out. These are just little, they just kind of tacked in this. And I'm actually going to save these to you guys because everything fits. <gasps> With my great, powerful, forceful hands, Cheryl, I just lost the ring light again, you guys. I have got, I am trying, it's so dark here. I am, I'm like the worst. Oh, I hope it didn't break. And I think it did, because I don't see a light on the floor. Ay, ay, ay. I have to get, I have to get like a more professional lighting set up. You know, I, it's in so many of us, right? We're on here, some of us every day. And it's like, I just need to get something that I could just turn on and not worry about, you know, trashing or it breaking. Um, oh, <laughs> I know you're like, oh my God. Hey, Brenda. Good to see you. Hey, Lisa. Yeah, you're on, you're on a roll catching moves today. Excellent. No, it's not the new one, Shannon. The new ones, see the thing is, I I don't have them on the floor. I actually kind of compress the tripod and put them on my table because I've got bigger diffused ones on the floor. Where is my staff? Where are my producers? That I need my lighting, my tech people. <laughs> How do they expect me to create like this? And the new one actually was defective. I had to send it back, Shannon. And then um, I got this new, new one, and it's working well so far. All right. These came out really, really easily. Yay. All right. One more. It's like yanking teeth. <laughs> Lives. Okay, that's what you meant. Right, Lisa? Where are your people? Yes. Good day. Get hey Deborah. So look, here's the little picture. Um, which is very, very yellow and mustardy, but it's the perfect size. So I could even use it later as a template. So when you do stuff like this, don't throw anything out. All right, here's the frame. And I'm gonna move all this stuff away and I'm gonna I'm gonna do a classic uh, Amy Howard at home milk paint finish right I'm gonna put on some cracked gesso and um, and then I'm gonna use some different colors of milk paint I think that will be cool 
because these are going to look really, really nice. I did another milk paint frame a while back, and the and it was plastic. Oh, right? It was plastic. It is so beautiful. It just came out really, really nicely. Right? Cheryl's saying, now look at that frame. Gorgeous, right? All you needed to do was remove that which is, it is, it's so yellow. And I have to think that yellow, a lot of that yellow is just from age, right? Everything yellow is like our eyeballs. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. oh no, Lisa's saying, oh my God, the only moves I'm making today are with my Dremel. <gasps> Rebuilding feet on a custom piece? Oh, Lisa, you got to tell us about that. How cool is that? Now, I'm mixing up enough because off camera, I've got two. I, when you're doing something, right, three of something, two of something, don't wait six, six months to, to work on one and then the other. They all have to be done at the same time. And just trust me on this because you could use the, the exact formula you did with the original one and guess what? Something called oxidation happens, right? And it starts to change color and it's very, very subtle until you put the newly painted one next to the old one and you'll be like, ah. So that's why matching is difficult. Look, Lisa knows Cheryl. Cheryl says, I'm still working on my milk paint project from 2022. Cheryl, we're behind you. Let's get that done, right? <laughs> Shannon says, I love old pictures and frames, and I have a billion, but I always wonder about how much nicotine. You know what? You're absolutely right. You're, you're absolutely right. And nicotine yellows. It stinks, right? It makes it sticky. Oh, Brenda, that is in... Um, that's in our uh, workshop, I believe. And I and I did that mirror inside of it. Oh, you've, it's beautiful. I love it. I love that mirror. I, I, that was a good one. And Amanda's saying, so glad you saw the beauty in those frames and rescued them. Absolutely. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you the truth. There was this gentleman. He was so sweet, an older gentleman. My, my son and I had our carriage, you know, piled high with all kinds of stuff. And I, I have to switch this little thing. There we go. And um, and by the way, I'm doing one-to-one -one here with the cracked gesso, which is gesso without glue in it. Um, so this, this older man saw us looking, and then I think we might have picked up one of these, and I put it back down, and he said, you know, there's a bunch, there's more of these. And he brought them over. He was so sweet. And, and then I'm like, I kind of felt obligated to buy them because he was so sweet and I didn't want to disappoint him. But then I looked and I said to him and my son, I'm like, these are wood, you know, these are really good. And I thanked him. He was just delightful, right? You meet the coolest people, you know, we, we meet like-minded like people rummaging through other people's stuff. Um, so I am, I'm glad. Now here's the grat crack gesso but it's really thick we don't want to put it on that thickly you could but it would really be gummy not gummy but thick let's see did I say carriage <laughs> wait who's saying carriage oh no oh I see oh yes carriage yes and okay I've heard this too. Down in down south, they say buggies. And I'm like, what are they living in Victorian times? It's a carriage, which is also a really old word, right, you guys? But we say carriage. And Cheryl's saying, my boss at home goods used to laugh at me when I called the buggies carriages. Isn't that funny? Oh, and Deborah's Deborah's on Mardi Gras. Deborah, you guys, you're she's in Louisiana. She says, I can't wait to finish Mardi Gras. I don't even like Mardi Gras. Maybe you don't like it anymore, uh, Deborah, because you're working so hard on that project. And then Lisa just said, it's awful. 
<clears throat> one of the reasons I always say this is the last custom, right? Oh, I stopped Lisa. At, you know, it, I I got a lot of work. It's hard work. It's it's just really hard work. Let's leave it at that, right? And she says the client wants an authentic, as authentic to the original from her childhood, beat up feet that I was not allowed to replace. So you had to, you're, she's, Lisa's saying she had to drag out the Bondo. You are remaking the feet on that piece? I've got to see that. You've got to post pictures. And Deborah's like, I want to work, okay. Deborah's saying, I want to work on my stuff. So Deborah, you're doing something for someone else, for um, Mardi Gras, right? Oh, Lisa's like, in the North, we call them carriages. Yep, for sure. What do you guys call your pocketbooks, your bags? <laughs> oh, Deborah's like, projects for other people. I have three left and I'm refusing. <gasps> Oh, it is. It's hard. It's really hard work. Oh, Cheryl's saying, Lisa, you're an angel. Oh, good. Okay, so I'm going to go check out your... Share your um, page again, Lisa, so we can see. Yeah, and, and Shannon's saying, Lisa, I hope you're charging the money, all the money. And, and Cheryl is saying what she calls her bag is a pocketbook. I love that. All right, you guys, so here's my um, cracked gesso, because it will crack. It's still a little bit thick. I'm making sure that I actually, I you know what I did once, you guys? I mixed up white milk paint, thinking it was the cracked gesso. All right, adding a little bit more water. And look at how nicely that mixes in. I'm grabbing my little natural bristle brush right when I'm creating texture I use this kind of brush and I'll show you I use the the Amy Howard at home they're glorified chip brushes but they're really worth it I mean they're really thick I've had mine for years and years Amy Howard paint was the first line of paint that I that I carried um, so I've had mine for years when you want to create a smooth finish, right, you get the synthetic brush. When you want to go, you know, create all that texture, this is your friend right here. Hey, Julie, good to see you. Deborah says, wallet that I put in my purse. There you go. Bag as in purse. Yes. Do you call your, do you, Brenda, what do you call your pocketbook? Your purse, your bag? I just, I, I just love when you go, you know, our country's huge. It's really huge. And I remember, I remember telling my friend Tammy of, of um, flipping Furniture that we call that, you know, big sandwiches, grinders. And she was like, oh, my, she was appalled. I'm like, yeah, they're grinders. All right, you guys, take your cracked gesso and just start going to town and brush that on and you do want to get it into the little nooks and crannies because when you look at those antique frames right that are starting to chip you'll see um, the gesso in there so you we want to be able to see that when we distress these so I'm just pouncing that in Just like that. Oh, Amanda says, I got some of those brushes from you and they are great. I love them. Aren't they? I, I'm, And thank you so much for, for shopping for them. I love them. I'm lost without them. Over here, we call it a purse. That's what Amanda's saying. Lovely. Brush or dab. I'm doing both. I am doing both. Like on a straight like this, Brenda. You brush it on. And I'm brushing it. You could go in and see, create even more texture like that, right? By pouncing. I'm always messing around with my application. On the inside, I'm definitely pouncing to get into 
all the nooks and crannies of this. It's already looking amazing just by getting rid of this gold. This is a gold and it's got some kind of wash on it. It's like an ochre wash. <laughs> I know. Cheryl, maybe that's why people look at me like I have six heads. Cheryl's saying, now Grinder is a gay man's match dating site. Ask me how I know. <laughs> oh my God, Cheryl, you are too much. But yeah, and I'm over there, I'm like, I'm really in the mood for a grinder. And I just think it's hilarious. And we never think about it. We just are like, yeah, I'm going to go grab a grinder, you know. Um, it's so funny. Even Italian restaurants call them grinders. Oh, my goodness. It's like soda and pop. I just thought that, I don't know, when I was a kid, when I found that out, I thought that was hilarious. Pop! Soda pop, right? <laughs> oh. Oh, Lisa's saying, I never do customs. I was a hairdresser. So was I, Lisa. Hairdresser makeup artist for years. And it feels that too much like that. Yeah, remember that pressure in the chair, right? Oh, I could tell you. Well, we could all tell you stories. Hairstylists are like, um, we're like bartenders, right? Okay, look at this. It already looks, I'm going to move this out of the way. Watch me lose another light here. All right, just a couple more, and then I'm going to dry. Now, you saw me mixing up my um, gesso. You can mix it up more you know more thick than I have and you saw that and I was kind of you know teasing saying well it would be really chunky but that's in right now right all that texture and you can just do it with the with the gesso just don't add so much water to it all right I am already loving how this is looking and I'm you know I'm going to do two coats. So let's dry. Wait, I have to read what Lisa said. I never do customs. I was a hairdresser and it feels that, that way too much like that. This was for a very wealthy client of my husband, the contractor. I felt pressured. She will be paying. <laughs> I know it's that pressure. It's really, really difficult. And I remember, boy, I, that's when I cracked my tooth way back then. Right, Cheryl's saying it creates texture and dimension. Hey, Lorena, good to see you. Hey, how to, submarine sandwich. Yeah, I like that. You could put a little toothpick on it, right? A sub. Lisa say you have to be careful about everything we say now. Well, you never know. It's a, what is it called? A double entendre, right? You are a North Country girl. Same. Supper and dinner. Exactly. And in, in um, England, don't they call dinner tea? I, I'm like, tea? They're having tea. Are you going to be home for tea? Amanda's like, I've done makeup for almost 30 years and I prefer doing custom furniture. Oh, yeah, we could talk about weddings. Oh, my goodness. My friend Joni's daughter, Joni of Weathered Wings, her daughter is getting married. And I said, for the love of everything that's beautiful, don't let anybody get their mustache waxed you know, a week or two weeks before the wedding. And I'm going to tell you why. One of my customers who's getting me a beautiful young woman, and I did her waxing, but she was away, I think for her, um, you know, bridal shower, and she decided to get her upper lip waxed, and it, the wax was so hot, that she had a perfect 
burned mustache shape on her lip. So she comes to me for her normal appointment, you know, the morning before the wedding, the morning of the wedding, and she was crying and making her fit. You know, we uh, brought in eyes. And I said, okay, I'm going to do my best here to cover up this mustache. But never, I would see a bride with a big furry mustache um, than this a literal burn. So you just don't want to do that, everybody. Please. Oh, Brenda's saying tea is in the afternoon between lunch and dinner. And in Germany, it's called Cafe Zeit. Oh, all right, so they're sneaking in a little meal there, and Amanda's rolling her eyes. Yep, wedding, right? Oh, and I'm telling you, it was exciting when I was doing it. I did really well. I had my own salon, but I am glad to be to be out of that. My favorite part of doing makeup, I started off doing makeup in New York City. I worked for my friend, with my friend who was a photographer. Back then, we didn't have digital anything, right? We we had a backdrop, and I would do makeup for, like, comedians and different personalities, so I could do, like, crazy stuff. That was fun, right? Lisa's saying, I can never do bridal hair today. Brides are too much. <laughs> oh, it was intense. Muffalata, yes. That, yes, Deborah. We have, I have seen that up here. That's a sandwich, right? I've seen those. If you only, Lisa's saying, if you only all knew what your hairdresser is thinking when her scissors are close to your neck. <laughs> my goodness. Oh, oh, my goodness. I want to make a movie about it. Or just never get married. I'm see, I'm missing the joke. Okay, there's too many. I'm gonna have to go back and look at this because I because I know you guys are you've got some good jokes going on here. Lisa's saying my salon is now my art studio. I did it so I could be home with my kids. Excellent. Where are you located, Jane? I'm in Connecticut. <laughs> and yeah, it's right. Deborah's saying that's an Italian sandwich. I'm half Italian. I should. That's probably why I've seen it. Though I'm half Sicilian. So yeah, I am up north, and when I did makeup, um, I've only been back in Connecticut for like 10 years now. I grew up here, but I left when I, I hightailed it out of here when I was 17, and then I went, I was in New York, and then New York City, and then I was out in, in Mill Valley in Northern California, and that's where I had my salon. I loved it when I wasn't stressing out. I have to show, you know, you guys, just this alone is so pretty over the gold. Just the, um, the cracked gesso alone. Isn't that beautiful? I love this look. I love, love, love this look. And I think if I wanted to, I could literally leave it like this. And seal the cracked gesso. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna push this, though I have to say I love how this looks. Deborah's saying plaster page journal, not book. Duh, how come of me? <laughs> oh my god. Not common at all. Yes, didn't Warren Beatty already make absolutely, absolutely. But we've got to make a modern hairdresser movie, right? I mean, they were all beautiful. Who was the actress that was in that? With And Warren Beatty, he, he was, you know, drop dead, right? That was so cool. All those fashions are back, too. It was a time to change careers, can you tell? Absolutely. That's what I said. Brenda said, mine retired two years ago, and I've been doing it myself now. Saves me. $200 with someone I don't know. I know we get very um, attached to our hairstyles. If you have a good hairstylist, you know, that, that keeps you fresh, keeps you, you know, looking good and does what you want, they are hard to find. Shampoo, Lorena. Shampoo. Oh, God, that was so good. 
I also love that movie. Um, what was it called? Soap with um, oh, what was her name? You know me with names. It was about a soap opera star, Sally Fields. Though it's kind of in that genre. Yeah, shampoo. I'm gonna watch that. Oh, Lisa says, you sound like my Rochester, New York Italian friends. Very similar accent. Yes, I did pick up. I have my New England twang mixed with New York. And um, I never lost. And I realized I was only 17 when I was a freshman in college in New York City. So I spent more time in New York City, in New York, than in Connecticut. So I really picked that up. Good color. Cheryl, did you see? I posted. Cheryl saying Burt Bacharach passed away. I started crying. I saw Burt Bacharach with, um, who's the English singer that did, um, oh, that did an album with him. But I saw them at Radio City Music Hall. I'm in a, I'm, I'm so sad about Burt. And I've been posting um, his songs on Facebook. And I told my sons, and they're, they're all listening to him today, and Dionne Warwick singing Walk On By, I was just, I was crying. I was like, he just was an unbelievable talent. So I'm so sad. And that's of that era, right? That whole kind of 60s, 70s, you know, that cool kind of sound. Oh, I dated a guy from Rochester, New York in my early 20s. He was in the Marines and so dreamy, see? Absolutely. Lisa's saying, so nice to meet you. I'd love to share your plaster journal workshop to my page when you have the link. It's in the comments, Lisa. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. It's in the top of the comments. It better be, you guys, unless I mess that up. Um, so, and if not, Lisa, I will put it in the comments. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Lisa's saying, I went to college in New York City, Elizabeth Seton. You're a smart girl. I went to the School of Visual Arts with all the, with all the crazy hippie artists. <laughs> Did you, isn't New York City fabulous? Oh, if I, look, and Lisa's saying, everybody knows each other. I just love this. And Lisa's saying, yep, Bert was everything back in the 70s. Absolutely. The Carpenters, oh, love the Carpenters, Lorena's saying, did a huge medley of his stuff. We, oh, she's sweet and sassy. <laughs> Wait a minute. Lisa, oh my goodness. Lisa's of sweet and sassy. Hey, listen, everybody who, and Joni of Weathered Wings is messaging me. Everybody who shows up in any one of my lives, please share your page. So we can all follow and support you too. Absolutely. And I will, if I don't have my link in there for my plaster page uh, journal, right, being fancy, or my portfolio, I'm going to put it in there. Debbie is saying, hi, y'all. Lots of familiar faces here. Oh, Lisa knows Shannon, right, who shared my page. Thank you, Shannon. And Lisa, thanks for joining us. <laughs> Look at Brenda. I am sweet and sassy treasure. So make sure you put a link. And I, I really love to do that. So we can all support each other, Lisa. And, um, you know, we got each other's backs, right? Especially, you know, especially us, well, not especially us Italians. I'm also half, you know, like English and Irish, that kind of thing. We are really supportive too. We're just, we do it with a tight upper lip. <laughs> Julie's saying, I, I, I was on a phone call and you missed. I know, it's it's like, I wish we were all together in a jazz club or a club listening to some Burt Bacharach, having cocktails. And Lisa's saying, I would have much rather gone to hairdressing school, but my mother would not let me. I wait, Lisa, you and I are separated at birth. I went to art school in New York, New York City. I taught, I did makeup. I was able to do makeup. But then when I left after 9-11, sadly, three years after, my, my jobs were drying up. So I came back to Connecticut briefly, and I went to beauty school. And yeah, then I, then I learned to cut and color along with the makeup, and I opened a salon 
in um, Marin County in Northern California. Oh, I'm so excited too, Lisa. I hope you love it. It's going to be great. And um, thank you so much for bringing it up. <laughs> oh, you guys are great. Well, I've been here for what? We're, we're, jaw, we're what, what do my friend call it? Wagging my jaw, jaw wagon for like a long time. And I haven't been really creating. So, so what I think I'm going to do, I'll show you the before and the during, okay? And then I'm going to meet you guys back here tomorrow. And I'm going to continue because I don't want to rush this because I really do love these frames. And what I'm going to do at this point is really let this dry, right? And then I'm going to add another layer of this cracked gesso, and I'm going to do it with the two other frames. And let me show you to refresh your memories, or for anybody that joined us late, look at the before. I mean, this is, this is pretty dramatic. So I'm going to come back tomorrow, and I'm going to put on a couple of colors of milk paint that I'm gonna mix. I have some ideas. I'm not gonna do just gray, so don't worry, okay? Plaster journal party, <laughs> yay! I like the sound of that. Oh, and Deborah's saying, she's right, mothers. My mother, yeah, my mother was kind of, my mother had my brother and I when she was 40, 39, no, 38 and 40. So she probably didn't know, she didn't know what was going on. But I know some mothers are like, you better go and, you know, get a degree in something that you're going to make money, right? Oh. Oh. I know, it's hard. And I think, you know, as mothers too, my sons are now, my twins are 31. And my youngest is 29. And remember back when they were little, they, you better, they better have the right kindergarten and the right this and that, and you better get them tutors, and then you want them, you know, and it was, it's, you're just having anxiety about where are these kids going to go to school, right? Or marry a doctor. Yes, I like that. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. Everybody, thank you so much. Thanks for joining me. For all of you that are yapping about my new workshop and taking it, I'm really, really excited. And if it's not linked in my in the comments, I will share the, the link again. Right now it's $17. It's the early bird special until the 11th. This is the time to get in for sure. Um, oh my God. Lisa's saying she has identical twin grandsons. My dad was an identical twin. <gasps> See, we have lots in common. That's amazing. Deborah's saying, I married a lawyer. Still had to get that degree. Yeah, absolutely, right? Um, and Cheryl's saying, I'm glad I grew up in the 60s. Oh, the 60s. I was born in 63, and I, I look back at the 70s, and I'm like, we had the best music, right? The best music ever. Um, but, but again, oh my God, I'm having too much fun. We do have to somehow have some kind of, I want to do some kind of in person and we'll call it a creative retreat. We'll definitely make some stuff, but there will be cocktails and there will be talking because it's just too fun. Oh, and Julie saying my mom was a twin. Lisa, I'm going to send that to you because I really, really appreciate this. I really do. Um, it's hard. I think it might, you know, Facebook is doing weird things when you share, when you, you know, try to copy and paste links and stuff. It's just really weird. Cheryl says, and bell bottoms and hip huggers. Absolutely. I remember when I was little, this will be my last thing and then I'll let you guys go. Um, remember the elephant leg, the elephant pants that were just really, you almost look like you were wearing a skirt. I remember those. Absolutely, Lisa. Um, oh, such a baby, Deborah says. Um, so, Lisa, this the the plaster page journal, right? The workshop is a standalone workshop that I'm teaching. It's a pre-recorded workshop, but I'm also going to be doing a live tutorial on. Um, 
one of the pages, a uh, paint technique. And people who are in my Surface Anthology membership, they don't have to pay for the workshop. That is part of the membership. So they're that, so that's it. And yes, Cheryl says Palazzo pants. Yes, they're back. They're back. I remember those. And that's the fancy term, right? Gotcha. All right, Lisa. Okay, everybody. Have the most wonderful day today. This was this was so much fun as always. I'm gonna continue with my project and I'll see you all back here manana, okay? Yay!